It's Friday Call the Mortgage Man Eric, and today we're going to talk about the hot topic of discussion, which seems to be what is the market doing? What's your projection, speculation? What's going on with interest rates? What's your speculation on that? And I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I've just been busy coaching with the kids and holidays and whatnot. Still sticking with my you know, my projections, personal projections that I've had since the summer of last year that the first quarter of 23, which we're currently in, is going to be the telltale on where we go from here as far as, right, the recession or lack thereof or housing decline, right? Those types of things. So let's dive into it. So halfway through Q1 of 2023, we've seen we are seeing some interesting numbers finally. And, and I thought we'd see these numbers earlier, kind of a month ago, uh, you know, after the holiday hangover, which usually happens second, third week of January. Everybody spent too much on the holidays, right? And they can't afford their credit card payments anymore. We start seeing some credit defaults, more credit defaults um, in that retail sector kind of declining. Not so much. Not as much as what we once uh, projected, but what we are seeing halfway through February, halfway through the first quarter 23, is the decline, the, um, you know, officially labeling it a decline in market values. And here, Phoenix, uh, we're at about 5% decline overall from where we were at last year. The, we now know, right, the height of the market, the peak of the market was May of 22, and values have just declined since then. Some you know, pockets of the valley more so than others. Some pockets are still holding steady. We know that, right? Scottsdale, Gilbert, you know, versus uh, other areas that uh, might get hit harder, right? So we, we know that, we understand that. Real estate, location, location, location. Um, with that said, overall, declining values. Uh, some areas have been hit harder than 5%. What are we seeing on a day-to-day -day basis uh, in the industry, uh, working, uh, contracts coming across the desk? And what we're seeing is, well, first off, right, three quarters of a million dollars gets you a little bit greater than a starter home anymore. And that's just it's insanity when you think about the cost of a home in today's world, just versus where we were five years ago, astronomically different. How long can the market sustain that? I mean, that's right there. That goes into this large equation. I mean, when you're talking about easily spending a half a million dollars on a home, and that really just gets you starter home material that you've got to dump a lot of money into, that's not cheap. And how can we afford that, right, as, as a society overall? So declining market. Um, we are starting to, to see since the first time since the housing implosion of 08 where Fannie Freddie are now designating areas uh, as declining markets. So for those of you that have been in the industry for quite some time and remember those times in 08, 09, 10, 11, 12, um, when your area zip code were put on declining markets and you'd hear that terminology and that overlay and that usually meant a reduction in loan programs and loan to values. Um, so the restriction of lending got tighter. Well, guess what? They're back. Uh, I think I saw some in Ohio, Texas. So they're coming um, to a, you know, a neighborhood near you at some point, probably this year. They've already started, right? This is the first time I've seen that since the, the housing implosion. There's a thing. Keep your eyes on it. Um, now, contracts here locally, you know, and, and people that are pre-approved, it's almost a thing of normality that if you're making an offer on a home for seven hundred thousand, you're offering six fifty or six hundred. Now, it doesn't go for that. There's quite a bit of negotiation, but you you know, understand the mentality 
that the that we're in right now is much different than we were even November. November, right? You'd get these concessions if you offered full price, right? And and now buyers without batting an eye are offering well below list price, and and that is an attitude that has changed. Um, she, and here's some here's some stats as far as the inventory. Uh, depends on which report you go with. And I've said that all along. Some of these reports can be can lean in one direction or another, and just because they have numbers associated to them doesn't mean that people don't slant the numbers in one agenda towards one agenda or another, because I see that. Wishful thinking at times. So anywhere from two and a third to four months of inventory depends depending on what you throw into the hat as inventory, um, which is a far cry when where we were, right, May of 22, where we were at less than two weeks, right? Inventory is up like 230% uh, year versus year than where we were this time last year. So there's a lot more inventory out there for a buyer to choose from, uh, which is a good thing. Um, Here's another thing that we're seeing is appraisals coming in low. Uh, and why is that? Because declining market. Housing values are coming down. Offers are coming uh, much lower than list price. They accept it, right? Now you're, you're, you're in a decline. It's going to be very interesting on where we're at 30 days from now, 45 days from now. And again, we're that first quarter. I've been saying this for... For well over a half a year, this first quarter, 23, is going to be interesting. And it's only half over. Um, there's been some terminology, you may have heard this, that, well, we're not going to have the recession that we once thought we were going to have. It's going to be a soft landing. So I've, I've heard that now uh, time and time again. And that may be the case. We may not have as bad of a recession uh, as once projected. Uh, however, don't get it confused with housing market decline. Just because you have one doesn't mean you have to have the other, right? You, so keep that in mind. Um, Goldman Sachs a couple weeks ago came out and projected the Phoenix market uh, was going to crash like 25%. Um, and I look, I'm not personally seeing that. I didn't, I've never projected it to be that bad. Uh, but you know, who knows? Um, I'm again still saying that first quarter of 23, and really, you know, what's going to be interesting is when we get those numbers uh, for April that will get, you know, beginning to mid May, there are going to be some interesting numbers. Uh, on where we're at. Now, interest rates, let's talk about rates. Um, you know, interestingly enough, these interest rates, we were on a great trend for lowering the rates in the month of January. And personally, my office, myself, I saw a great deal of service pickup, uh, business pickup. Um, and then right around the end of January, beginning of February, what happened? You know, the Fed spoke again. Uh, we knew that was coming. Now, here's another thing. We were under the impression that that was going to be the last Fed rate hike, uh, which they're hiking rates, right, because of inflation, this runaway inflation. We all know that everything out there, the cost of goods is absolutely insane, Right, you know, all the jokes and memes out there about you know the eggs, right, and you know go sell eggs as for supplemental income. Um, so what happened? Uh, I think it was February first. They the Fed raised the rate again, and they also announced that they're going to have another two to three rate hikes coming. I think uh, between now and summertime, June, July ish. So obviously. Bond market did not respond friendly to that news, and we've been in an upward trend in interest rates ever since, unfortunately. And ever since then, you know, uh, businesses started to fizzle a little bit again. You know, maybe that's just anecdotal uh, for myself and my, you know, in my branch. 
Um, but you know, that seems to be the case. You know, the trend on rates, I had a you know, busy January, talked about rates going up, sending them up again, business starts to, uh, to die off once again. So yes, rates have gone up in the last two weeks, unfortunately, you know, here we are. Uh, end of January, I mean, we were starting to lock people in the high fives, you know, which was really good. And here we are, you know, going back in the other direction, unfortunately. Again. Now, they're still saying, you know, Q3, we're going to have interest rate relief. I hope that's the case. It seems to be the sweet spot, fives. If you can, you know, most of the consumers, the public, you get people in the, in the fives, and they're able to muster that and uh, swallow that, if you will. Um, and, and that's really about it where we're at right now, man. I'm telling you, it's some interesting times. That said, it's Friday Coffee with your mortgage man, Eric. We'll see you.